Hi everyone, it's Jen here, the Diamond Painting Gamer. Very warm welcome to my channel and um, the January uh, My Craft Club uh, Master Box. Um, yeah, I know it's getting towards the end of February. This has been sitting for a while. Um, I just haven't had the time to get round to it. Um, I've been kind of busy doing other things. I've now got a few days of work. Yes, and I'm going to spend it diamond painting, um, mostly, I think. But anyway, what better way to start my uh, first Monday off for a long time uh, than to do an unboxing. Um, this will be the penultimate box that I do. Uh, I did say I was going to keep this on until February's box, and then I'm going to stop. I'm going to cancel the subscription, I think. I mean, they do give you payment holidays. Now you can, you know, pause your subscription. But I think I'll cancel. <clears throat> if ever I want to go back, I can always restart it. I've done it before. Anyway, plus they give you little sweeteners. <laughs> anyway, let's see what's in the January box, okay? Uh, I can't remember what... Uh, I can't remember what... Uh, topics I chose. I think we're back on abstract again in pets because uh, I can see it's a very cute and adorable cat. Uh, they've gone quite cutesy actually in uh, my craft club. But we're definitely on abstract. Okay, let's put these to the side. In the master box we get five diamond paintings. Uh, two 40 by 50s, three 30 by 40s. Oh, oh gosh, it's, it's cat, it's cat heaven. <laughs> right, okay. So let us go through the letter that comes with it, or the packing slip, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, dear Jennifer, we are pleased to present your January box of crafting goodness. What's in your master box? Get ready to bloom with joy all year round with our delightful flower collection. Each month, receive a unique flower to brighten your space available from October to February. So this is why I've been keeping it on till February. These collectibles create a blooming masterpiece. It's a blooming masterpiece. <laughs> this last month, reach out to us. These are part of a series of five exclusive collectibles. So in a rather beat up box, we have got this. Once I've, I've, I've been shown a few of them. They've, they're in my other room. Um, I'm going to, I'll show them all once I've made them all up. But this is, um, like some kind of uh board what could it be here it is a peony that's us a peony now i must say uh, i've been enjoying doing these however in my last box i had a piece missing uh, i've managed to and it was quite a big piece as well because it was a petal piece um but i've managed to kind of manipulate it in such a way that it's not obvious but um i know it's missing but anyway, we have the, sorry, I moved that. We have the peony. Um, what I might do is I might, um, shall I? Because it's diamond painting channel. I don't want to start introducing too many other things, even though I occasionally do the odd paint by number. Um, I was wondering if I, I might, I might make the last one up as a time lapse or something and then show all five at the end. Yeah, I might do something like that. I'm, I'm thinking about it thinking about it. Anyway, we have the peony. Okay. Uh, brighten up your space with our DIY Eternal Tulips lamp. Oh gosh, not another lamp. Uh, craft a floor, stunning floral inspired lamp that adds a touch of everlasting beauty to your surroundings. We've got a thing about lamps. Um, I think this might be it here. Oh, it's quite small. Oh, that's cool, actually. It's very small. hope it's not fiddly. I um, need the old hot glue gun for this, by the looks of things. Um, with my craft club, uh, all these products... Uh, oh, not all these products, sorry. All these projects, they are our tutorial videos on YouTube. Uh, on the My Craft Club YouTube channel. So, I'll have a little look at that. Um, uh, st 
start the new year with a bang. Craft your own celebration bracelet for a touch of glamour and style. Whether you're partying or celebrating at home, this DIY accessory is a perfect way to welcome the year in fashion. So I've got some jewellery. Oh, this is quite weighty, actually. So, it, you know, it just looks like it's just some kind of charm bracelet. Let's open it up and have a look. It's a lovely little bag, actually. Um, it's really hef heavy. This is... Oh! Um, can I just say, this is very weighty. It is, it's to make some kind of little bracelet. Uh, these uh, are very, very good quality. Um, these are very good quality. There is a decent amount of weight to this. We've got some flowers. We've got a little tankard with love. Um, some of these pink beads. It's also fl flowers and florals. This is cool, I like that. It's got flowers etched into it. Oh, wow. Um, and the, the actual uh, bracelet uh, itself, that is, that's quite chunky. Oh, yeah. Look out for me wearing that in a future video. We will definitely be, definitely be making that up. Something a little different, eh? Okay. okay, unleash your creativity as you craft a dazzling tote adorned with sparkling diamond paintings. Carry your essentials in a uniquely personalised accessory that adds glamour to your everyday outings. Um, well, I'm not going to lie. I've got uh, a load of these um, diamond painted tote bags. Um... I've been having a tidy. Uh, I have actually taken about five of them down to the charity shop that I've already made up. So I've already made them, uh, sealed them, and I've taken them to the charity shop. Um, along with some cushion covers and some bookmarks. Anyway, um, we have got some special shapes here. Uh, crystals, gold, uh, reds. Uh, we've got some blue marquee here. Oh, we've got these of um, little iridescent teardrops going on, and the ones that are kind of like dragon scales. Uh, okay, so it's pretty cool. It's um, butterfly and some florals it's a canvas bag i was thinking i may keep a hold of this one it's a decent size but uh that may be worked up and gone down to the charity <laughs> and gone sealed and gone down to the charity shop after it's uh pals <laughs> anyway cool diamond painted bag Oh, and last but not least, and I've left it last because it's my least favourite. <laughs> you see where I was going there? Um, least favourite thing. It's also the last on the list anyway. Uh, dive into creativity as you handcraft a charming bouquet of felt flowers. This delightful project not only adds a touch of nature's elegance to your space, but also provides a lasting floral arrangement that would me uh, melt, wilt. Uh, I've made one of these before. It's, it's exactly the same kit. Uh, they're, they're, it looks like they're uh, recycling some of their crafts. Um, I won't be doing it again. I didn't like it. I did not get on well with it at all. So uh, again, this may go down to the charity shop in its entirety. But yeah, no. <laughs> not for me. I know that. Right, we have um, a toolkit, last of all. we Just a random, regular, sorry, generic toolkit. We have a boat with a spout, which I actually use. I keep a hold of those. I use them for my confetti canvases. Uh, pen, um, tweezers. 
make a ton of wax. But yeah, that is it for the extra crafts. I think uh, things that are, are the best for me is, well, obviously my flower, but it is this little bracelet, I think. Because that's different, that, that's so different and it feels expensive. Right, okay, anyway, let us move this out of the way. Let's look at the dining paintings. So as I said, I think it was pets and abstract we went to. I wasn't expecting abstract. I thought I'd changed, changed up. I'm going to change it up for my last collection. Anyway, let's look at the abstracts first. Because we've got two adorable cat pictures on their way. So, first abstract picture is a 40 by 50. Here is our image. Very colourful. Lots of pastels. It has got 40 colours. And it is a round. I've been getting rounds from um, my Craft Joy. This is going to work up unbelievably quickly. Let's turn it the right way around. It is, if you, <laughs> colour blocking. Talk about colour blocking. Let me just scooch this down the back here. Yeah. This is virtually all colour blocking. Um, this is going to go so quick, you would not believe it. So quick. Um, all of the canvases come with... Um, parchment paper if you are so inclined um, they also come with an instruction sheet uh, you also have your legend uh, here on the instruction sheet as well so you can make your own stickers up so there's no stickers come with this but if you've got a sticker maker you can pop that through as I said when I looked at the picture that looks like it's all pastels and oh, my goodness me that's uh that's pastel -y, isn't it <laughs> lots of pastels that's uh very spring like isn't it they have some gorgeous colors there oranges peaches blues pinks all in pastel shades a little bit of green fantastic absolutely fantastic i like that one Okay, let's move this one and get the other abstract one. And um, that one is a uh, 30 by 40. Um, all the canvases are true to size. So the image, should I say, is true to size. So the image size in this will be 30 by 40. The canvases are all poured glue. They're soft backed. And... Uh, they fold out beautifully so again we have got parchment paper here Let's take that away. so here we go thumbnail first of all it's uh, this yacht in a beautiful sort of um as we just say it's a sunset or a sunrise <laughs> it's a very abstract looking landscape anyway Again, lots of colour blocking in this one. It has got 34 colours. And again, we are not as pastel as the uh, first one, but um, colours look amazing. whole rainbow of colours. And uh, again, we've got touches of pastels in there. But a nice mixture of pastels and... Um, a little bit more vibrant colours. There's a beautiful pink just here, just hiding. Brick red. But yes, uh, this is cool. This is absolutely cool. I like this. I've got to put these somewhere that I can easily reach them now. Just look at an overview at the end. Put that 
out the way because we always like to look and see what our favourite pictures are. Right, okay, next animals. And they've really gone down the cutesy route lately. Um, I've got animals before and they were all cutesy. And these ones are, are all cutesy. I mean, I do quite like a cute image, but I prefer a realist, more realistic one. But anyway, this is the 40 by 50. Oh, it's been cut, almost chopped at the edge. We've got two cute little kittens chasing butterflies. This also has four colours. This has got a massive green in it. Again, we have got our release sheets. Put the drills over to the side and we'll look at the canvas. So yeah, lots of greens in this one. I think there's going to be. Image looks a little bit muddy, I think. Um, I'm sure it'll be fine once it's all drilled up. But I think it's because of all those greens. It looks a little bit muddy at the moment. There's not really much definition. But um, as I said, I'm sure when the drills goes up, go on and you get the, um, the gradient of colour going through it, it it will uh, look a lot better but yeah it does look very muddy there's not really much definition going on down here um so yeah here we go with our colors um we've got some teals uh, uh, not as many greens as i thought we've got more kind of olive greens i thought they'd be more brighter greens but they're kind of these olive colors we do have a bright green here we have got some teals and obviously because we've got some kittens there we've got some browns and some greys and some taupes as well beiges and blue for the sky okay so that is that one while we're on kittens we will go to the other kitten picture So this is a 30 by 40. Once again, round. All of the canvases uh, are round. You do have a choice of rounds or squares. Um, or you can choose a mixed bag if you like. Um, if you've got no preference. I was having issues with their squares way back. So I've kind of stuck with rounds. Although I did, I did get squares one time and they were actually not too bad you know what i need to make my selections for my last box i think we'll finish off my last box with some squares so here is our cute kitten this one looks a little bit more defined than um the larger one for some uh, for some weird reason uh, you would think the bigger one would look better um we've got quite a lot of pink in the drills here I wouldn't have thought that this colour palette would have gone with this kitten. But uh, we do. We've got purples and, you know, pinks, peaches, blues, obviously for the background. I was thinking we might see some more browns, tans, creams, but no. If I'd picked up those drills and looked at them just out of my box as a random selection, I would never in a million years have thought, oh, that's a kitten. I don't know what I would have thought it was, but I wouldn't have chosen kitten. <laughs> Again, we have our instruction sheet. As you get with all the drill packets. Drill packets are individually bagged. So you can work out bags if you want. Uh, they also include DMC numbers. So there's DMC numbers on the cameras, DMC numbers on the charts, DMC numbers on the drill packs. So if you... Uh, like to store your drills uh, you can uh, keep them aside um, I have kind of stopped storing them now um, that doesn't mean to say that I don't have some I do have a small collection of some of the more common colours so just in case I need to um, just in case I need to uh, 
if I have, I have a canvas that's run short. So. Last but not least, we have this cute little penguin. Isn't he adorable? Isn't he gorgeous? Again, this has got 35 colours. How much did the kitten have? 34. Okay, let's tuck him down there. Because they're soft backed, these look kind of bumpy at the moment because of the packing, but um, because they're soft backed and the way I store them, they, they flatten out reasonably quite quickly. Um, although if things are bad, I'm not averse to an iron, just a cool iron really, that's all you need. Um, it's got quite a lot of confetti in it, this one. I'd say more than um, some of the others. But he's super. And here are his drills, blues and purples. Kind of what I would expect looking at the canvas this time compared with the kitten. <laughs> okay. And that is us. It's quite dark. Very dark painting this one. Okay, let us uh, have a final look at the canvases. And uh, we'll see what we like the best. So, um, I think I have them all over. So we have um, this abstract yacht. We have this, which um, kind of looks like a sort of a, you know, a, a a path into some kind of doorway. Um, it's a cloud on the outside. Puts me in mind of some kind of pastel temple. <laughs> uh, we have this cute little kitten. And we have uh, these pair of kittens playing with a butterfly. And then last but not least, we also have uh, the penguin. These are very similar, actually. If you put them side by side, don't, they, don't you agree? I think they, they do look very, very similar. They look like they're part of the same sort of range. Um, Favourite canvas in this one? Uh, it's kind of hard because there's none that really, really jumps out at me and think, and I think, wow, I've, I've got a good one here. Um, I'm sorry, they're all kind of a bit, you know, certainly these animals, the two kittens and the penguin, they're all a bit meh, you know what I mean? A bit meh. Um, if I was to choo choose a favourite, I think what it might be is uh, this one, this larger abstract, the pastel one. And that is purely down to the... Um, well, partly the design, but also the colours of the design as well. Let me find them. Here they go. I mean, all those beautiful pastels. Yeah, I think this one is my favourite. But n not so much for the actual image itself, more for the design and the use of colour, I think, um, for this one. And of course, the Off the Canvas Pro Project. Hello, Kenny. What are you doing here? Um, the Off the Canvas Projects, it is, uh, where can I find them? Where are they? Oh, here it is here. It is uh, the little bracelet. This. So yeah, I think these are the two favourite items from this um, box this month. Um, I'm going to go and mix up my selections because, quite frankly, I didn't think that I was, <laughs> I had abstract again. And I've got fed up with pets because, or animals, because that's two in a row I've had and they've just been cutesy and no, I don't like it. Um, one of my favourite diamond paintings that I got uh, when it was used to be Easy Whim um, was a beautiful horse, horse's head. Absolutely stunning um, and very realistic. Uh, but yeah, not, not these ones, not... Mm, not these ones, not this month. Come on, don't scratch my boxes. Why don't you come up and say hello? Why don't you, there we go. Right, that is it from me. Uh, that is it from Kenny. Uh, what was your favourite canvas? What was your favourite 
of the canvas project in um, this selection. Um, as I said, this will be uh, my second last box. Um, there will be one more Easy Whim box, not Easy Whim, my Craft Joy box to come. Kenny has now decided he's going to play with the little bag. Yes. And uh, yeah, that is it from us. See you in the next video, guys. Okay? Cheerio.